first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our spray paint. It's always fun to um, bring in some color, especially if you have just solid linens, um, and you can do this with texture. But here's the key with a ball jar or any type of glassware um, that you want to transform, it doesn't matter the shape or size, um, is that you wanna do this on the inside. Now, a lot of people ask me what kind of paint to use. I prefer um, this Craylon paint, and it doesn't have to um, be any type of glass paint. So you can get this at like $3 um, at you know any hardware store or even Walmart. Um, and so anyway, what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna have a towel. Um, I prefer to wear gloves, but I don't have any right this second. And you're just gonna, don't continue to spray um, in here. So you just wanna kinda of shoot inside your ball jar, like so. Um, you don't wanna really get the outside of it. It's okay if it drips a little bit. It won't dry that way. Um, really easy to do. This doesn't even take very long to do. And you're gonna just love the transformation so you don't have this traditional um, ball jar, if you will. Make sure you get the bottom and the sides. Okay, the key to this and you can see I've got a little bit of drip here, um, but it will, you might need to put in another coat, but the main thing is to let this dry first. Do not put a candle in here <laughs> until this dries because it is um, flammable. So what we're gonna do right now as this continues to dry is I'm gonna show you the next step on what you can do with this beautiful jar. So um, obviously you've got a lid. This would be really cool if you did another color or if you're using metallics, which are so hot right now, um, then you go ahead and put your lid on after you paint it, or if you want it just to keep it gold. So you go ahead and paint this. Um, my mom actually used these for Easter baskets for the kids. The nice thing is your hands really don't get yucky because the outside of it isn't done. Um, when you do the outside versus the inside, it gives you a completely different look um, and tends to um, actually like drip more than this is. We're gonna be able to cover this up. You can also put glitter in here. Um, and so you shake the glitter around so it doesn't um, you know, actually go in one place. So you lightly put the glitter in and then you shake it out immediately. So it doesn't do that. You can also use tack inside there and then do the glitter as well. So I'm gonna show you um, two ties today. Um, and I'm just gonna show you, actually our next do-it-yourself tip is going to be about bow tying and the different type of bows that you can do. I like to do some fun things, especially at cocktail hour, but that's completely up to you. You wanna get stiff ribbon, actually works the best. And as you can see, this makes it very decorative. And you can just do a simple bow. Um, this one in particular, I'm gonna do the bow tie. So this is one of my favorite ribbons. It gives a kind of a contemporary fun look. Definitely great for weddings as well. And here's the key that a lot of people don't know. I actually learned this from one of my helpers, um, is that you wanna take, especially if your ribbon is fringy, you wanna actually take a lighter to it, and this is how you really create a bow tie effect. And you see how I'm just lightly going around that? It also makes it straight. It won't burn. If it starts to burn, you're holding it too tight. And you see how I have just a little burn mark there? So I'm gonna make this even shorter. The shorter the ribbon, the better it is. So I'm gonna do this and this. Um, it's also neat to be able to use pinking shears. I do that a lot. And you wanna get kind of a smaller ribbon. So to show you up close how this does this. It's kind of windy out, sorry. I go like this and I go like this. You can get all kinds of different ribbon. Um, believe it or not, Walmart has a really good selection if they have a um, fabric department. The one here in Fishers is really great. Okay, so that kind of gives me my bow tie effect, if you will. This is great to do on champagne glasses as well. So you can take a dollar store champagne glass and put a little bow tie on that, and I'll show you that in our next upcoming video. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your candle. This is um, pretty much dry at this point. And I always use votives, so then you can reuse your ball jars or sell them. And I stick this down in here. And you have a beautiful glow, especially in the evening time. 
Um, you can see here that the paint's starting to dry, so we're not gonna show those dips. And voila, how cute is that? This is great instead of luminaries, um, if you're trying to light a path as well for the safety of your guests. On April, um, I believe it's the 4th coming up next week, we are going to do a do-it-yourself class and I'm gonna send you more details. But continue to watch all of our video series on the do-it-yourself tips and tricks by Tanya from the French Tulip and the Event Design Studio. Coming up next is going to be how to tie different types of bows and how to make them look really professional. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.